Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Bull Ring. So, it is career mode then, in my Man of Mercedes car. You can see the bottom there, round nine. Of course, it's Austria. And uh, a circuit that I've been pre preparing for all season, really, with uh, trying to get better straight line speed in my manner. So, uh, fingers crossed that we can get a pretty good result here um, with the long straights. And we will see the track up in just a second. We'll watch that big metal ball there. And uh, what how tall that is. But anyway, so here we go. This is what I mean. So, for some very, very long straights, so the whole first sector and the whole last sector are pretty much just straight. Middle sector here is, is requires some downforce, so I'm certainly going to be losing some time through that. But you see here, the final sector that is uh, mostly straight. And uh, yeah, like I say, I've been pretty much inadvertently preparing for this all season with my uh, my straight line speed upgrades because the manor was really slow in a straight line to begin with. So moving on then. So this is what we've got. So we did the drag update in the last race. So uh, that's going to help us slightly. And uh, you see me highlighting, I'm planning to do a downforce upgrade next. That's the sort of provisional plan. I, I tend to highlight my, my, what I'm planning to do next. On the right outside there, we're now ahead of Haas and McLaren, actually, and just behind Force India and Sauber, with uh, Toro Rosso a little way ahead. So actually, we're moving, moving up the grid slightly, so uh, we're hoping for it to be somewhere not at the back, that's for sure. Uh, coming to quality, you see I'm in P12 at the minute, so a pretty good result already. And I've done a 1 minute 8.7, and uh, just 40 seconds left in the session. We're going to get now pushing, see if we can uh, improve that lap time. So straight away, we're up, and on the start, finish, we a better exit at the final quarter. Break the 100 meter ball left outside, then right down second, get nail your curb. Try and not take too much curb on the exit because it can spin your car. You've got to be very careful on the throttle on the steering and puts on that exit. And uh, we're already a tenth up after just one corner then. And uh, gaining slightly down this straight. I'm going to break just as you get to 100 meter on the left outside, then right down to first gear. Get it all turned in, nail your apex. You've really got to be really careful on the throttle here. See if we can get a bit of wheel spin, a bit of oversteer there on the exit. Not a perfect exit, but not bad at all. And uh, near enough two tenths up now, then to be getting a little bit more in that uh, last corner there. Breaking just once again at 100 meter on the left outside, they get right slowed down, going on to second gear, but I've actually stayed in third that time, interestingly. And I uh, just trying to get a better exit from it, which I managed to do reasonably well. Lost a little bit of time in that last corner though. And this way you can really push. Really tricky turning point here for this 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 first corner because you're completely blind until you're already at the apex. And uh, again, pretty tricky corner there. Just so difficult to know uh, when to sort of get on the power there because the it pinches slightly in the exit. We're over two tenths up. Those coming to the final couple of corners here. Just to get to 50 meters on the right side. They uh, break down, break and go down a couple of gears. Struggling with my words here. All over the curb. Try and nail, nail the curb on the inside. They're getting on the power. The exit. Bit of oversteer. We're actually getting quite a bit of time. The last couple of corners will be over four tenths up as we get to the line then, which gives us P9 then. P9. So we actually get into the top ten there. Which means we are going to start on those tyres we just qualified on. And uh, is that the first time we qualify in the top 10? I'm not too sure. But uh, 1 minute 8.3 there. And uh, just a couple of hundreds off the uh, Williams of Felipe Massa just ahead of us there. But we'll certainly take that. Teammate down in P13. Pretty good result from him as well, actually. But he was, uh, well, best part of a second off us. But 8 tenths off us then. So quite a long way off us, interestingly. But uh, as I said, P8, uh, P8, uh, P9 rather for me. Is uh, certainly a good result. So here we go. This is a strategy. So we ca we have to start onto ultra softs because that's what we qualified on. Because uh, we qualified in the top ten. We're then, with then I'm really struggling for words today. We are then going to go to super soft tyres. There we go. That was a bit better. And uh, running 19.7 laps of fuel, so we've got plenty of fuel, so we can run rich down those very long back straights. So here we go then on the grid. Got two Williams just ahead of us. Then we've got three lights, four lights, five lights. Clutch in then. Clutch out, lights out, and away we go. Then trying to minimise wheels. Been doing that pretty well. Pretty nice start there. Let's look in the mirrors. How are we getting on? And look like no one else behind us got a better start. So that's good. Going to take the nice racing line here. And oh, think about sweeping in there. But there's something inside. There's a Williams. Oh, we had to get back on the brakes there. So this would be very slow on the exit. And there was nowhere for me to go. I was somewhat boxed in. We're trying to squeeze Massa over now as we try and get up the inside of uh, Stappen. Or will be the outside of the next corner. And well, very slow in a straight line there. The Red Bull. And we're actually get fly straight past them. Push up to P6 then. Get also down breaking very low. We've got Nico Rosberg up next. If we can get a good exit, it might be a slipstream and move past. We're in rich mix here. And uh, well, it looks like we're going to be able to move past. Then we get a nice sort of slipstream here. Well alongside, going to go for the inside of the next corner. And we're actually already pretty much past. We hit the brakes there. Just need to get a slow down, hit my apex. Run a little bit deep, but we get away with that. Up to P5 then from P9 on the grid. So we gain four positions off the start. And uh, that's pretty good going. We'll certainly take that against uh, cars that are certainly faster than ours, particularly that Mercedes we just passed there. And uh, two Ferraris up next, but. I mean, I'm not expecting to be able to catch those now. I think this will be a case of defending till the end. It could be wrong, though. And having said that, Vettel isn't isn't uh, uh, stomping away, is he really, in that middle sector? He certainly pulled away slightly, but he's not he's not like he gained a second in that middle sector. Nothing silly. So, uh, well, we might have half a chance once we get into this fast section. That was a really nice final call, and they got a nice exit, too. Straight away going defensive from Rosberg there, but he's also going defensive from Bottas. So, uh, actually, again, though, look, look at that straight line speed. They had a bit of slipstream there, but still wasn't able to gain on us. We uh, nail all of the curbs. They're all bit of oversteer. And that can easily catch you out and send you into the inside barrier there. So you've got to be very careful of that. And uh, lap two now then. And it's looking like, oh, there's a bit of uh, dicing going on behind us. That's going to help us, hopefully, if they're side by side. Ooh, 
pretty close to our rear end looking in the mirrors there but they're slowing each other down beautifully that's hopefully going to be able to get away slightly is it well it is but uh, i'm not sure it's going to be enough to actually pull away i think they're just too fast for that what's going on they're still side by side unfortunately I'm not going to look back but I'm not too sure if they're still side by side get all slowed down that was a nice corner now Europex nice to get on the power and look at this the cars are battling up ahead then are they going to go three abreast into the middle sector and I think they might be. Yes, they are three abreast, and the Red Bull stays ahead there, and the Mercedes loses out of presumably Lewis Hamilton. And this is actually the lead battle where we're only a couple of tenths, or maybe a second back from here. So, uh, well, if they keep battling like that, we are going to be able to stay somewhere near them and maybe gain another position or two. So uh, we need to keep <laughs> keep our fingers crossed. So they're going to keep battling that hard because, uh, well, three abreast in the middle of the set. You can see how much time it's cost them. They've not, well, I don't know if I've gained as such in that last lap, but I've certainly not lost any time. And they're now all over each other. Look at this. Very much, they're going to go side by side into the first corner and slow each other down once again, which has just helped me perfectly. That's exactly what I need, nailing my apex once again. They really can nail that curve on the inside. And they're still side by side going down this straight then. So if they're going to be side by side coming to the next corner, that's going to help us massively because now we're not that far back. We're only about a second back from them now. Don't think we're going to get DRS. No, we're not. 1.4 seconds on the last count. But look at that. We just gained massively on the brakes. They slow each other down heavily. And we're now all over the back of Sebastian Vettel. They're going to go to a rich mixture. I mean, we're not going to get DRS, but we are going to get lots of slipstream. Actually moving out of the slipstream there because I didn't want to uh, end up on the grass. They're trying to get past him because I wanted the inside line. We're going to try and outbreak him here, which I managed to do uh, handsomely. Can we get it slowed down, though? Bit, bit of a lock of the inside tyre and uh, slide into the corner. But we make the move stick up to P4 then. And uh, wow, if they can keep battling, we're not actually that far back from the two cars up ahead. And, uh, well, if they keep battling, we are going to be able to potentially get a, get a podium pay in position. But they do need to keep battling. We've certainly not got the pace. But, oh, having said that, look at the gap behind Vettel now on the mini-map. Nice, big, big gap. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'd, if someone offered me P5, uh, I think I'd certainly take it at this point. Because uh, P5 is solid points. And um, I think only only Monaco is the only time I've equaled that, that sort of... Uh, level of points so DRS now they managed to sneak DRS on the car ahead but I don't think we're going to be able to get it we need to nail this first turn if we're going to get into the next straight trying to do that trying to get a good exit which we've done really well but actually short shift slightly there just to try and dull the wheel spin but I don't think we're quite going to be able to get DRS unfortunately they're not battling at the minute so not slowing each other down no we're well, 1,000 or 8,000 rather outside uh, the DRS uh, detection zone there unfortunately and that's going to enable Vest to be quite close to us we need to be mindful of him now but again, we have closed in on Hamilton, so if they start battling, but you know, it looks like the Ferrari's pulling away quite nicely at the front there. Must be Kimi Raikkonen. Pulling away quite nicely at the front. And Ricardo looks like he's fast enough to keep Hamilton at bay, so I don't know if they're going to be battling too much more, to be honest. But uh, we're going to concentrate on Sebastian Vettel behind us now, then, because uh, he is certainly faster than us. Um, in the straight line, I think we might be a bit faster than him, but in the middle sector, he is certainly faster than us. So just four tenths back and we actually managed to get within a second once again of Hamilton there but we're not going to be able to do it I wouldn't have thought through this final section section no we're not he's actually going to pit is he is he just trying to attack and uh, no he is trying he's actually pitting that seems quite early so Hamilton is pitting then so we're going to stay out because he's ultra soft tyres see on the right side they're not even at 50% yet so we're not too worried for now but uh, Vettel is all over us we do manage to get some DRS there as Hamilton pitted Vettel's not going to defend for him we're going to take the risk and he doesn't have the inside luckily he's going to try and get also down nail Apex get on the power nicely all over the curbo compressor exit slightly oh Vettel gets a beautiful exit that's going to enable him to have a much better, well, I mean, look at that, he's already passed us. And um, we're going to have a little think about the inside here. Do we decide? No, we're going to try and uh, get back. Oh, as we actually cut back too much there, that's going to compromise us heavily on the exit. We are going to get the arrest though. But look at that, he's just pulling away on the exit. And that was, that was my mistake there. It's because I was torn between diving up the inside or just trying to uh, get a decent corner and then take him into the next straight. And uh, my indecisiveness has caused me to get nothing out of it, unfortunately. I uh, just tried to cut back there, but actually did it a little bit too late and a little bit too much. and meant that I just missed my apex and compromised my exit. So, not great, but we've got quite a lot of signs behind us now. And actually, interestingly, I don't know if Rosberg's already pit, maybe, but he's on super soft tyres. We're on ultra softs, and we're only three seconds up on him. So, he's uh, running an alternative strategy there, and a pretty good result for to be able to P5 for him. We know that Hamilton pit. Like I said, I'm not sure if Rosberg's pit or what. And we're not going to pit this lap still. So, we're not going to call Hamilton's bluff, because we want to go run super softs. So we need to stay out, and we do get DRS lots of boost when we exit there. We do get DRS now, and now we're going to pit this lap. I'm not too sure which lap it is that I'm due to pit. I uh, can't quite remember off the top of my head. I think it might be this lap. Uh, in fact, yes, I'm pretty sure it is this lap. We are going to pit. So lap six, then. That gives us 12 laps to run. Double the, double the distance that we've done on these tyres, on the super soft tyres. There we go. Confirmation. I'm telling my engineer I want to box this lap. And uh, just over 50% tyre, then, so reasonable tyre, we're not excessive, but reasonable, we run very deep there though, that's not ideal, and looks like Vettel's going to start battling the Red Bull up ahead, that is going to help us, if, he can, if they can start battling, but he's not going to get alongside, I wouldn't have thought, it's not quite very close to him, but just 
not quite able to get alongside, and I wouldn't have thought he'd be able to get alongside uh, into the middle section. Unfortunately, that would have served me well. Now, going to the pits, it's a good idea to have a few seconds um, gap behind you in order to uh, in order to try and not get held up in the pits. And I think we've got that at the minute, but Carlos Sainz is closing in on us with his... Well, he's got a better car than us, and he has got uh, fresher tyres. There we go, just in four tenths in the middle sector there. So uh, 2.4, I think that might just about be enough, though, to stay ahead of him, even if he does pit this lap, although he's on super soft tyres. So I wouldn't have thought he will try and be quite aggressive with his pet entry. Now, oh, very nearly over the line there. You can really push it into this uh, section here. It feels really good, actually, to nail this pet entry. And breaking quite late. Can we get slow down? Yes, nice and comfortably. Nice and sensible there. We have had uh, our penalty in the opening race of the season from... Uh, the pit stop there, and we don't want another one. And does have to get out? Yes, he does get out ahead of uh, the Toro. Oh, the Toro Rocha didn't pit, of course. And whoever it was that, that was in the pits, I think it was a Mercedes, actually, Rosberg. 2.2 seconds stop then, so really nice stop for them for the Mana guys. And we're now on Superstar tyres, as are the cars ahead. So now, you see there's lots of traffic into the first turn there. Very tight pit exit. We do navigate first, trying to get a good exit, which we managed to do nicely. And no traffic behind us then to bother us. But we have now got Ricardo ahead with better, uh, sorry, Reichen ahead of him. Um, no, it's Vettel actually. So Vettel actually managed to jump Raikkonen. Uh, uh, getting more my names confused. Vettel managed to jump Ricardo in the pits, and uh, that enables us to get some DRS on Ricardo then. And uh, well, we we need to try and take advantage. There is going to be lots of traffic for both cars, I think, coming up. So the AI do tend to struggle a little bit in traffic. So if I can somehow manage to, uh, well, if I can get both of these cars, I'll be straight on the podium. I think I'm not sure where Hamilton is. Is Hamilton ahead of us or behind us? I'm not too sure at the minute, but. Um, as I said, all we're, trying to on, all we're concentrating on at the minute is just trying to make best use of this traffic. And I'm just trying to look ahead to see if I can see Lewis Hamilton. I'm not too sure if he's there or not. But, uh, well, it looks like Vettel is going to be going up the inside of the Renault into the next corner. That's going to cost him heavily uh, some time. He's going to gain some time by overtaking him, but it's going to cost him some lap time, which hasn't. It's cost Ricardo a lot there as, as the, uh, the Renault of uh, uh, Julian Palmer there gets a very bad exit. That's going to enable us to get some DRS and nice little slipstream. Ricardo is going to be passed him probably. So we need to try and look at getting through at the same time. And oh, as we almost hit uh, the, the Renault there, we break well at our normal point. But he seems to break very, very early. And that caused us to, to react with the steering wheel. But we managed to keep our front wing, not make any contact, and get through. So that's quite an achievement considering we're, we're going to gain massive on Ricardo. Are we, are we going to dive at the inside? Yes, we are. We get also down lock at the inside tire. A bit of a bang of wheels. It's going to push him wide. But that's going to be moved down, I think. And we're going to get some DRS as well. So he's not got great straight, great straight line speed. So that's the move done then. So upper position. And that will effectively give us P4 again, I think. Well, assuming Hamilton is ahead of us. So uh, that's certainly a good result so far. But where's Vettel? Vettel's just head navigating his way past the Renault there. So it looks like he's actually managed to get through them relatively cleanly, unfortunately. It's the Renault and Sauber side by side up ahead of us. They're costing each other lots of time, enabling us to get quite close. And I'm not sure if they are going to pit this lap or not. And then, well, if it's going to be side by side, it'll be interesting if they go into the pit side by side. Are they going to do that? No, they're not. They're not side by side anymore anyways. Ricardo's gaining quite heavily on us. That's not a good exit at the final corner. They're side by side once again coming to this corner, then just costing each other time. Hand over fist there, but it's enabling us to get nice and close. And look at this beautifully close. And oh, well, it's inside there, but unfortunately, just didn't have the time. So we're going to squeeze Magnussen over and try and get the inside of Nazareth, which managed to do nicely. Breaking that 100 meter board there. And oh, looks like the Renault's going to come to the inside of us, and we managed to avoid contact just about. But they've both lost a massive amount of time, so we managed to get a double overtake there. Well, we need to have a look at that in the replay then. So. Let's have a look on board of uh, Magnussen here. So you see us come through. We squeeze him over there quite aggressive. And he just decides to try and outbreak us there and take a very tight line. Oh, I tell you what. I left him just a little bit more room on the inside there. And if I didn't do that, that would, he would have probably would have taken me out there and spun me around. So I'm very glad that I had the uh, awareness to uh, leave him some room there. Because uh, otherwise that would have been incredibly frustrating. But anyway, it was a nice clean move. And I'll skip back to lap 14 then. So we skipped a few laps there. Looks like Daniel Ricciardo is very close. We actually have in P3 for a minute there, but Ricciardo is going to be past us, I think. Are we going to about break him? No, we're not. We're going to try and get also down, though, to uh, get a good exit and take him back, like we were trying to do with, I think it was Vettel, wasn't it? Good exit, but we're not going to get DRS, unfortunately, because uh, I think we crossed the line at the exact same time. And out through the gears, he got a nice little slip through, though. Red Bull's quite slow in a straight line. Going to be up the inside here, trying to outbreak him. Can we do it? Oh, bit of a wheel bang once again. Though. We locked our inside wheel and end up sliding a little bit wide. We managed to keep the position, so still in P3. So it looks like Lewis Hamilton must have uh, got some traffic when he pit early then. Must have got a lot of traffic, and that's cost him some time. So we're actually in a podium-paying position, which is not something I expected to be say at this track. I expected a half-decent result, perhaps some points, but I did not expect to be getting any podium. So if we can hold on to this, that'll be some achievement. As Ricardo's going to try on the outside into this high-speed section. No, he decides to back out of that. That was a bad move, so... um. Looking behind, there's a bit of a gap to the cars behind, so if we can not battle too much, I should be the worst case scenario, I should be guaranteed P4, which would be nice. 
And uh, looks like Lukaku's going to try it on the outside. A good straight line speed with this DRS. Are we going to be able to get it back up the inside? I don't think we are. No, we're going to let him go there. Because we want some slipstream down this next straight. And then we want some DRS down the straight after that. But oh, we've had a poor exit there. And he's had a great exit. Which has cost us a lot of time. So we're only just going to be getting slipstream. And I think, I'll tell you what, even though he's not great in a straight line, I think he's going to get us. I could be wrong. Just four tenths back there. Oh, we've gone deep there. That's pretty much guaranteed that he may get us unless we can get an amazing exit. We've had a pretty good exit, but I don't think quite we're going to get to him, are we? No. Even with Slipstream and DRS, it's going to be close, but I don't think we're quite going to the inside, are we? No, unfortunately not. We're not going to dive inside from that far back as we actually move a deep there and lock our inside tie. But, well, that's a disappointment because uh, I actually more or less let him through. I could have, I could have um, dived inside into turn one and I should have had a better, better turn two or three, whichever it technically is. Um, but there we go, that's the, that's the move done. He's going to be able to pull away from us quite comfortably now. Well, the Red Bull is a lot faster than us. So, although, look at this. We've got Carlos Sainz behind us. He is on ultra soft tyres. I tell you what, that is a big, big concern. He's only three seconds back. His tyres are going to be probably a bit fresher than ours, and they're a step softer than ours. So, we really need to now wake up again and push, because we, look at that, they're quite close to us. And unfortunately, he's dragging with him another two cars. So, <laughs> we've only got three laps left to go, including this one. But just 2.4 seconds to Carlos Sainz behind now. So we really need to try and hope to stay away from him. Because if he starts getting slipstream with DRS on him, I don't know if we're going to have much answer. But if we can try and just stay out of that out of that zone from him, um, he hopefully his tyres will get a bit worn. He's run a little bit deep once again there. Not so bad as last lap though. As uh, Yeah, I think his tyres might start to go off soon-ish. So although my tyres are already over 60%. There we go. That's the information I wanted then was a 111.5. That was his, his time the last time out. I, I've not actually, I didn't pay attention in the commentary, unfortunately, as to what lap time I got last time round. But, uh, and I've forgotten already. It was 11.5, I think it was. And 1.2 back now. So he's just gaining massively on us. So that's kind of irrelevant now what lap times he's doing because he's going to be all over us. He possibly will even get some DRS then down the next straight. And uh, so that means he's gained, pretty, he's gained at least a second lap. So he's over a second a lap faster than us. So <laughs> I think we're going to need something... Pretty special to be able to defend from him, unfortunately, in the last... Well, we're down to the two laps left now. So we've only got two laps left to go. This is possible. It's going to be a challenge, but this is possible. We've good exits, left, right, and center. We have all going to have worn tires. Mine are particularly worn. Look at that. There is a 70% worn. But uh, we know Carlos Sainz, he has got ultra sauce, but they are pretty worn. He's going to try it on the outside here. And uh, can I... I'm not sure my fuel usage at the minute, but I think I'm going to dive back up the inside here. Yes, he didn't quite manage to get the move done. Oh, as he turned into me slightly there. And uh, try and get exit here. But with my very one tires, that's difficult. We managed to get a better exit than him, though. But he has not got DRS. He, has gonna get, he is going to get some slipstream as well. So he's going to be able to go back around. But I'm going to defend the inside here. He's going to be on the outside. Look at that. Almost ahead of me. But I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to try and outbreak him here. Lock of the inside tire right down to first gear that time. And unfortunately, not able to squeeze him off the track there. Because we weren't uh, alongside him enough. So that's going to be able to, to get past, unfortunately. P4 now. But oh, we've run a little bit wide. They get some marbles on our tires. That was Rosberg to stick up the inside there. And he's well alongside us, so we're going to have to give him the room. And, oh, that enables us to run. It's fortunately run wide once again, get more marbles on our tyres. And that enables Max Verstappen to come through. So we've just lost three positions in the space of about three or four corners there. Not ideal. But we've got one more lap to go. We have got worn tyres, but so is Verstappen ahead. And we have got better straight, straight line speed. So hopefully battle and hold each other. We can gain another position here. But, oh, no. No, no, no. We've got a puncture. We have got a rear left puncture, unfortunately. And that's going to mean the final. We haven't got time to pick. That happened on the exit, the final corner. And that's going to mean almost certainly no points for us. And uh, just going to have to crawl around this last lap with our rear left puncture. Well, the tyre was worn. It was probably 80% worn, but it wasn't It wasn't ridiculously worn. Coming to the flag here. Position 21 out of 21. Stone cold last. And I tell you what, I deserve better than that. I mean, the tyres were worn, but they weren't 100% worn. They are 80% worn. I know you run the risk when you get to around that. But if they could have just held out for one more lap, we would have got... Well, I mean, we probably would have got at least some points. I'm not sure how many, but uh, anyway, there we go. Looks like my teammate, unfortunately, DNF there as well. 55 seconds back from the leader in the end there as we uh, had to crawl on that final lap. Well, bitter, bitter disappointment at the end of that race. But uh, there we go. That's what happens. Our tyres were incredibly worn, so we kind of uh, uh, made our bed and then we have to lie in it. And uh, there we go. That means we actually managed to stay in the same position in the constructors, but signs moves up quite heavily with his uh, decent result there. And, uh, well, you can hear my voice, overwhelming disappointment at that result from the heights of potentially getting a podium to Stone Cold last at the end. That's not what I wanted. And we actually lose a position in the constructors there to Toro Rosso. 
They're now 12 points ahead with a great result. Their alternative strategy working beautifully for them, starting on super soft and going to ultras. But anyway, that'll about, that about do for this video then. And uh, fingers crossed we can make up for it in the next race because that was a bit of disappointing there, wasn't it? After the excitement, the excitement of potentially getting the podium to being last. That's uh, not what I wanted. But anyway, I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.